Most AutoCAD architecture commands can be accessed using the ribbon, which extends across the top of the screen. Notice that the ribbon is divided into various tabs, which appear along the top of the ribbon. In addition, contextual or context-sensitive tabs will often appear at the right end of the ribbon when we pick certain objects. On the top left is the Quick Access Toolbar and the Application Menu, the big A. The Tool and Properties palettes are also open. I'll rearrange some of these on the screen, then save my workspace. The Navigation Bar is also open on the right. I'll click the Close button to dismiss it. I'll move the Properties palette to the right side of the screen. By default, if I were to drag the palette to the edge of the screen, it would dock. I don't want to dock the palette, so I'll right-click on its title bar, and in the shortcut menu, I'll clear this option. Notice that I can move and resize the palette. If I right-click on its title bar and choose Auto Hide, when I move the cursor away from the palette, it automatically hides. I will expand the tool palette down, right-click on the title edge, and clear Allow Docking. I'll choose View Options, set the image size to smallest, select the List View Radio button, and in the Apply To option, pick All Palettes. Then I'll click OK. I'll also auto-hide the Tool Palette. Now that I've set up the interface the way I want it, on the Application Status Bar, I'll click the Workspace Switching Tool. In the pop-up menu, I'll click Save Current As. In the Save Workspace dialog box, I'll enter my name and then click Save. Now I will click the Workspace tool again and then choose the Workspace Settings option. In the Workspace Settings dialog box, in the Menu Display and Order section, I'll move my workspace to the top. In the My Workspace Equals drop-down list, I'll select my custom workspace. At the bottom, in the When Switching Workspaces section, I'll select the Do Not Save Changes to Workspace radio button. I don't want any interface changes saved unless I explicitly resave the workspace. Then I'll click OK. Note that your workspace is stored in your custom user interface file, which is specified in your current profile.